Hello and welcome to another five stupid things. And today we talk about five stupid things about the iPhone. Now hold up before all you Android users start high-fiving and starting a comment war down below. Just know, your time is coming. And in the interest of full disclosure, I have and use an iPhone 6 Plus. It is my phone of choice. However, even the best products have their flaws. Number one. Siri. Yup, you heard me right. Too bad she didn't. It's actually kind of funny how incredibly limited Siri is. There's so much potential behind it, but all you actually ever get is, I'm really sorry about this, but I can't take any requests right now. Please try again in a little while. Siri is not a personal assistant. It's a toy, a gimmick you show your friends as they roll their eyes because talking to your phone is so 2012. If I had a personal assistant that refused and talked back to me as much as Siri does, I would have fired them ages ago. The sassy responses are cute and all Apple, but I'm bored of it. Show me some real functionality. You know, I'm not too impressed with OK Google either. Just like when touchscreens first started dropping, I don't want to use Windows Vista with my finger. Innovate the interface or get out. I-I-G-O for short, and that's kinda stupid. Number two, animations are my aggravations. Not something you'd expect, but animations on an iPhone are really what account for its sluggishness. One of my personal pet peeves about the iPhone is how slow these animations are. Animations exist so your brain can make sense of the constantly changing interface. For instance, instead of just turning on the screen, it fades in, and instead of just opening up and showing the apps, they zoom out. Sure, that's nice and fancy and all, but that takes up time. Way more time than you're even consciously aware of, especially when we use our phones more and more every day. I don't want to turn to the ripe old age of 96 before I'm allowed to start using my phone. Seriously, some of these animations take so long I start thinking of other things while I wait. Did I take out the laundry? Did I feed the dog? Do I have a dog? If you have an option to jailbreak, kill the animations and you will be truly amazed at how powerful the iPhone actually is. And that's really stupid. Number three, my wallet hurts. iPhones are notorious for how much they cost. Granted, they are made to a higher standard and typically made with better materials. However, there is no excuse for a $30 cable. A lot of people don't realize this, but cable are some of the cheapest electronics to make. Remember back in like 2011 when people were buying HDMI cables for $100 a pop? Best Buy employees were getting those same cables for $4. Not much has changed with the Apple Lightning cable that costs approximately $350 to make. Not even to mention the price discrepancy of cases that cost as little as $0.75 cents to make and are selling for $45. I think there's a cliche here I can use. Now that's how they get you. Now that's stupidly stupid. Number four, why you no waterproof? This is one of the most frustrating things. iPhones aren't waterproof. They aren't even water resistant. Considering how much humans need water and how much they use their phone, you'd think it'd be a given. Because no matter how hard you try to keep your iPhone safe and dry, life gets messy and it's bound to get wet. I mean, this tech has existed for years. You can literally go to one of those center booths in the mall and for 60 bucks you can get your iPhone coated with some hydrophobic material that'll make it waterproof. What? Why is this not a thing out of the box? I want to be able to drop my phone in the toilet with zero ramifications. What? Not on purpose, of course. Now that's stupid. -er -er -er. The final stupid thing. Number five, we're locked out. The iPhone and iOS is a closed system, meaning you can't install or modify anything on the phone unless you go straight through Apple. We're not really in an era where people want to modify the hardware of phones just yet, but we still want to modify the software. You see, a closed system like iOS is good for a couple reasons. There's a sense of quality control and consistency that you get used to, and sometimes it prevents malware. However, when the government has planes masquerading as cell towers to spy and collect on your data, is malware even a concern anymore? Probably, but, but still. A closed system is where the apps can only function in their little sandbox and prevents the developers from giving the applications any real power or use. Like for instance, multitasking. Not only that, but you can't even customize the visual look of your iPhone. You know what, I'm sorry I was wrong. You can actually customize the wallpaper. But get this, you can have a different lock screen wallpaper than your home screen. The power is unparalleled. Now that's the stupidest. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Make sure to leave your comments down below telling me what you think is stupid about the iPhone, but not just that. Tell me what you also think is smart about the iPhone. Let's have one of those good old fashioned iOS versus Android wars just this once. Also, I just started a newsletter, so if you're not into the whole social network thing but still wanna stay up to date, subscribe and you will get bi-monthly updates. You can get exclusive downloads, sneak peeks, and little secrets about my channel that you don't already know. But don't worry, I will only send two emails a month, if, if that actually. So until next time, high five.